All right. You know, we'll get losers finals in. I got a drink. I can't go. Let it go to waste. Also, just to let you know, out my game volume is like really low. Much lower than normal. Still not changing much. Okay, that's better, I think. Get it louder if you can. Okay. There we go. That's a lot better. But yeah. I know um, Walsh really wants to win this because I was trying to make conversation with him and he was like, he was not having it. He was like, I'm focusing must I get the hell away from him, which is respectable. So it looks like he really wants this tournament. I'm not sure why. Um, there could be various reasons. That's going to be a bad spot for P2. Perfect usage there. No tech there. That's going to be a huge advantage. State 410 here. Last hit of dash attack. Never expected. Confirm? That's what I mean, bro. Just the frame traps for Mega Man? It's really rough, right? Because PC can switch, but you have a frame 4 multi hit aerial that can just cover a lot of easy recovery angles. So that's why I think it's pretty rough for PC in a lot of ways. But this is where you can also kind of. Take back that advantage, right? Do awesome. Oh, what a jump call out with, with the upbeat. Tenny's just so clever with all Charizard specials for the most part. uses them in such great ways. And of course, it's going to be a best of five set. If ever can step the tempo, is going to be in a great position. Early waterfall from Tenny to get out of that spot. Okay, this is going to be really tough. Oh, going for the kind of tech chase there? Or I don't know exactly what he's going for for the waterfall or with the quick draw, but... Hit from hit here. It's looking very, very dire. Now you're PC in the corner, but yeah, you're getting a little bit too cute with that vine whip movement. Oh, but you're gonna go a little bit too early, and you're gonna whip the up tilt, allowing Tenny to kind of escape the corner there. Oh, barely whiffs, I think, um, Mega Man ducking that by the smallest of frames. Another dash attack. Yeah, man, he's been loving those tonight. Could've cost him everything. Really good spot here. Now you oh, gonna be stuffed up. Maybe he wanted the dash grab or something, but he's gonna get it there. Yeah, I mean, really, really just good burst option from Tenny there. That charge our pair will explode you with that range. Definitely not expecting it. I mean, Zard with that ability to do that drop zone fair, but often you kind of stick to lead strapping with him, which is why I think Waltz was fearing. So just kind of fell asleep at the wheel. Waltz is like zoned in, bro. I don't. <laughs> he really wants this, man. A credit to him. I haven't seen this motivated in a while, but of course I've been kind of absent from the scene. Maybe just trying some new mental stuff. But we will see, man. Oh, that's going to be what kind of punish? Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I guess. You know, maybe try to go for some off-stage shenanigans. Mega Man maybe gets Max a fully charged death smash there, so probably should have just take that, though. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. I actually, yeah. I actually had no idea that was a thing. Yeah. Join me, Allo. What are you doing? I don't know if they could. Might as well join me, bro. We need your PT expertise, bro. For random facts like that. I'm literally all I'm going to do is complain. Don't need any expertise with that dare, though. You know, you're going to throw it out. Tenny. A fan of those spikes. So you, you said this matchup um, in Mirror Pity isn't that bad for Pokemon Fair, no, right? it's fine. Yeah. Squirtle's small enough. It's like you kind of just have to understand when to throw out moves and when not to. Mega Man is like mischievously safe on some things. So it's just, yeah, that as well. It's knowing confirms. 
and uh, is an edge guard in him, which sounds really stupid. But when he throws this, yeah, he's not doing it anymore. Whilst he usually throws the crash bomb at large, if Tenny oh. goes for a two frame, it will like oh god, dude, Excellent. the reversals of this matchup are crazy. Like both characters, like it's like DPC out there. Like it is dangerous for both of them. But yeah, I mean, obviously Mega Man is like super combo food for stuff like that, and um, obviously like if you catch the jump, you can do a lot of crazy things. Put me on the sticks, I get 50. But I just think the neutral is just really hard, and even like I said, that bear does I think a lot of work against Pokemon Trainer. Oh yeah, bear is like probably his best move. Yeah, I mean I it think does, it does everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a classic. Everyone's been hit by that at least a few times in their yeah. life, especially against Waltz. So, yeah, it definitely needed that. He was down a lot. So, it, it, this is definitely a matchup where Mega Man wants to control the pace. Like, even with a lead, he doesn't feel that good because PT can just take it back so quickly. Let, yeah. let, Sorry. You really let, do yeah. just have to just nair and, like, make it hard for Squirtle. Because Squirtle doesn't have range, but he's small. But Mega Man is, like, one of the few characters that can cover that low that fast. Yeah. Cool. Okay, the frame traps here. Tenny's all over him right now, getting the tech case of 94. Oh, finds the roll in. Only gets a roll out, or only gets a grab, though. Really? And that's another thing where, like, Mega Man's love to opt for that kind of higher recovery with, like, an upbeat. But, like, Vine would put such a good shot covering that general area. Yeah, off stage is pretty rough for Mega Man. Like, even with how versatile his recovery is, like, PG just has a lot he can do against it. So now I'm start starting to see why this matchup might be more, you know, even than I thought. Yeah, it's, um, it's kind of like Mega Man's really linear if you know what they want. Because yeah. Waltz, Waltz has been going high, frankly, a lot, probably out of fear of that, uh, Down air. not even just that, but the same Crash Bomber thing as I said earlier. Because if he puts the Crash Bomber on the ledge, which is kind of like autopiloting for the most part, if Tenny tries to two-frame him, he either two-frames him with whatever move, or the Crash Bomber explodes and he sends his uh, lead. But yeah, he's very rarely going low, which I think Waltz has to wind up to. You're allowed to go low and not Crash Bomber. Okay, nice trade there, but okay. That's nice. Out of the corner, you can get him some space. Yeah, that, oh, another really good tool in this matchup. Oh, trying to not kill even with Rage. That was dangerous for Squirtle. We're going to find that Vine Whip out of the chaos. Why is he back here? I love that kind of switch to just apply so much pressure there to Walter. Early flare boots, love that to get out of the corner. Not I don't know about that one. Yeah, that one was interesting. And that could have been a combo, maybe a confirmed to death, but still going to get solid percentage. And the main thing I don't like about those options is he did just take 12 for no reason. Yeah. And it's like every time, oh, okay. Well, color the quickest, surprise. The quickest rising up there from Charizard you have ever yeah. seen to net that stock. You, you rarely see that option, honestly. Uh, yeah, no invincibility though, so that dare is going to be pretty easy to land. One thing I want to see more out of Kenny is just kind of like challenging his pellets. Because yes, like pellets are strong, pellets are fast, but if you do a. Uh, he does against Selena a lot, where he does short hop, like fall in neutral air to clank with something and then still takes space. Dude, oh my god. Love I love that jab lock off the metal blade pressure too. Like I said, Kenny with the item in hand. I wish I would love to see Tenny play like a Diddy Kong or a Rob or something, just to see what he could really do with that kind of stuff. Uh, but man, okay, back throw there. Three, one, T, gonna catch the jump. He opts to go super high, and yeah, the platform yeah. mix-up. He's just gonna take an up yeah. air, but that might be death. Oh, he could bounce man. Okay, that works too. Oh, gets the landing but anyways. Then. The reason he's going high is he is just trying to hit him. He's yeah. Trying to get that. He was in a very bad spot there. Kill. Yeah. Okay, no he might go. be dead. This is bad. He has to go high again. Walsh just taking this percentage to the bank. He can't, yeah. He can't do it like me. Surprised that didn't actually lead to a tech chase there. It was very close. Uh, uh, that move is angleable. Yeah. So you have to angle up if okay. you want to at that percentage. Very, very strange how many angleable moves this character has. I have never played a character with angled anything, so <laughs> I know nothing about that life. You can angle Squirtle forward smash, you can angle F tilt, you can angle IV up F smash. The only characters that I actually play, like, is Ridley is the only character I play with, like, important angles to his moves. Yeah. Okay, reverse up B. He's that dead. was. Uh, maybe for the air dodge? Oh, but that's just gonna be a trade. Okay, yeah, Walt's fighting no, back here. You're not living that one. 
kind of knew he had to have something. But while still focused in, he's not going to be deterred. Obviously, one of the best mentals I have ever seen in any fighting game ever. I mean, that dude is not going to be worried down 2-0. Okay. This is actually a fun matchup, though. Like, a lot is going on, honestly. Yeah. Um, very entertaining, honestly. So, glad to be commentating. Three, that not in the <laughs> I'm going to be real. Walter. I've already commentated more Walter sets today than I've commentated the last, like, six months. Might be dead? No. Wrong hit of Nair. Unfortunately. Yeah, Squirtle, or Tenny will go out for those Squirtle Nairs early in the stock just to let you know you are never safe regardless of what character I am. have to in this match because I feel like Mega Man is obviously, he's going to get more openings, but Pokemon Trainer is not. So every time you get one of those, you really need to make it count. Another kind of wild player blitz. We'll say they're they're foolish until he hits one to win the game, though. That's just how Tenny is. You know, yeah. Just keep on going for it. But I like that side B uh, with Crash Bomber on him. He does because that move doesn't take any uh, damage. Does just take knockback. So like, if you have I, the time, yeah. why not? I like Crash Bomber in the sense that it's a pretty good move. It does a lot of creative things, but there's also a lot of good counterplay to it. It's not like this end all be all um, tool that Mega Man has. Oh, that's really uh, whiff. Okay, I'll just take the grab, I guess. I don't think Mega Man was getting much of 70. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tenny laughing it off, knowing, yeah, he caught me there. Excellent pre leg pressure from Tenny, or from um, Waltz there. Another whip up the Okay, Tenny getting a little wild with this one. Oh, but that is going to be a costly mistake. Uh, but that's going to be costly. He died at like 80 when that squirtle left smash in the corner. And now, just like that, where Waltz kind of had a commanding position, now already down big and starting to get and it's right over here, this is Tenny Hurt Train. That dash attack, though, interesting. Kind of net, kind of walks an interesting option. Oh, I love that one. Okay. Um, definitely, okay, nah, yeah, that's why I mean Mega Man will just fall into every combo. It's so hard for him to deal with that kind of stuff. He's heavy and a fast faller. It's like yeah. every everything that makes it easy. Yeah. Not quite killing yet. Tenny, again, with Z-Drop back here. It's every time, he's got something yeah, with the I item. Yeah, just... Just kind of falling asleep in the wheel. Doesn't think he has those, and he does, in fact, have those. So can we see something miraculous here? Can we see a ledge trap? Jump. Okay. Oh, what a freaking call out. New okay, you actually cannot whip punish this. I called you out so hard. That's kind of the story of these two, right? I mean, you think Tenny is a good position, but Walter can just kind of turn the tables at the right time. Walter's really good at understanding, like, you did this, or I did this, so you will do this. And sometimes just having an up tilt that fast is just a very good, no, I win. Yeah, I mean, it's. It, I think it's better to use it during that than some situations. And Walter Green, okay, be a whipped up here. Let's see if we can get off this high, yep, yeah, high waterfall. Get the hell out of that spot. Yeah, we'll see if Walter can catch on to those. Because he's, yeah. as Squirrel, has been doing a lot of those high up views. Okay, tech chase here. No, cannot convert. Down air, what does he get out of it? No, just out of the spot. Okay, now it's a good tech chase for sure. I love the switch in the tech chase. Really clever. Okay, that dare could have been it. The bear, oh, the double cannot cannot catch Walt. So elusive. Surviving all those checkmate situations, but now you're against this angry Charizard. And up smash will probably kill. And like we said, we knew the next Flare Blade or Flare Blitz would hit here. Tenny just so clever with his specials, man. He's waiting on that the whole time. You cannot commit to anything against this guy. 